what I'd like to do is create some lighting. The thing is, now that we have power panels and lighting panels in there, we can just shove some lighting into our ceilings. We have lighting, we have floor plans, and I don't want to go down there. I want to go to my lighting ceiling plans. So I want to go to lighting ceiling plan level one. Now I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to put a lighting fixture in. So I'm going to go to the systems tab. I'm going to go to lighting fixture. And I'm not sure which one I want. So I'm going to hit my drop down here. Now I'm going to grab 500 by 1200, 120. But I know as I go to put it in, I'm not going to be able to do it. On the placement panel, and always remember this with hosted families, click place on face. Now what we'll see is I want to put it in here, but it's a little bit smaller than the grid layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on edit type. And I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it 610. by 1219, and it's still going to be 120. I'm going to click OK. For the width, I want to make it 610, and the length, I want to make it 1219. I'll keep the depth at 150. That's absolutely fine. Click Apply. Click OK. Now she fits real nice. So I'm going to put one right here. Put one right here. Now I'm going to come over here and notice that it's at the wrong orientation. If I hover over one of these lines here and I hit my space bar, hit my space bar again, it's going to line it up with this grid. So I'm going to put one here. I suppose I'll put one here. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hover over one of these lines, hit my space bar again. I want to put one here and here. I'm going to put one up here, and I'm going to put one in line over here. I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'll put one in this office over here. I'm going to hover over this line here, hit my space bar. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to put a spot like right about here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to go ahead and select one of my lights. Host is linked Revit model. We can kind of go through and look at some of the properties of it. No comments. Our electrical data is 120 volts. That's the important thing because we know it's going to pair up with our actual panel. What I'd like to do is select my section marker, and I'm going to push it back through my lighting fixtures. This is an important step. I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to double click on it. And I want to make sure that we are hosted correctly in that ceiling. Don't take it for granted that your lights are always going to be in the right spot. So that's how we add lighting fixtures. Again, do it in a ceiling plan and then put them into the ceiling grid. And remember, these aren't normal blocks like you see in AutoCAD. These are parametric families. If they're too small for the ceiling grid, we can bump up the size without any problem at all.